Hey everybody, uh, one last video today. Uh, I had a, a, a user comment about uh, widgets and, uh, and awesome. So I figured out a few things I was doing wrong. I'll, I'll go through those and how I got, uh, how I got it to work. I mean, it, right down here, the text output looks good. Uh, but the graph, for some reason, on the CPU isn't working. Maybe we'll look at it while we're in there, see if there's something we can do. And the memory isn't isn't showing up, but it's it's there. I have uh, NCMP CPP working, given the the artist that's being played, which is cool. Okay. I don't know how often it does it. Might be that early. It sometimes takes a while, but uh, you know it updates 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. So, anyways, let's take a look at it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to hopefully you have um, awesome window manager shortcut, and we're going to look at a couple pages here. We're going to look at widgets and awesome, and we're going to look at vicious. So in order to get Vicious to work, um, you know, I had installed um, I had installed Vicious and it still didn't work. It might have been, there's two things I did. I mean, that might have been enough, but one of the things that was missing was a um, cd2 config, awesome. It didn't have this Vicious folder after installing. So what you do is you go to, you get this git clone. Uh, I think it's easier if you just so you copy that, navigate to this folder, .config awesome, and just paste it in there. And you'll get this vicious folder right next to your RC Lua, and then it should work. So that's the first thing you do. And then uh, basically you start plugging this stuff in. Uh, it gets a little com complicated because uh, I, use, I use Sublime in this case because it's, there's so much programming going on that uh, and, and lots of copying and pasting and, and this is really nice because once you define something like a text box then you'll see it referenced you can see it down here so it's that reference down here and as you start typing it'll give you a list so if I if I started typing my text oops, then it gives you a list so that's the reason I, I use sublime when I'm doing some heavier stuff but anyways what we do to make this work is it's a little different way of writing it. Uh, if you look here, you need to write it this way. Vicious equals require vicious because when I did it originally, I just had this part, require vicious, and it didn't work. So at the, about the same time I wrote this vicious equals, I did the git clone part to here to get this. So it's either one of those two. It's safe to do both. So you git clone to your uh, awesome config awesome and then require vicious equals require vicious. So then what we do is the first thing you're going to do is want to duplicate your top bar to your bottom bar. And the way you do that, and I'm not going to go through this because there's, there's so many chances to screw up, I usually take forever and it would make a bad screencast. What you do is you copy, and I put these lines in here so I can see, you copy all of this. You highlight everything to the end of these three, um, what you call them, there. You copy all of that and you paste it right below it. So you'll see this is slightly different. This is all the, the Weebox stuff. But you paste it in there first and you'll notice it goes all the way down to the closed brackets. And then you save, uh, You one more thing, you change top to bottom here. So on your top one here, it says top, where is it, right here. On the bottom one, it says bottom. Then save, reload, control, mod 4, R to reload. And you'll get a, exactly the same thing down here. So once you do that, you know it's working. Then what you do is you delete. I'm going to go to the top one. I labeled them also. We box top, we box bottom. So this one's the top. You delete these. and then come down here and either comment out or delete those three 
which are your launcher over here, your tag lists, which I believe are here, and your prompt box. I'm not sure what the prompt box is. Maybe it's this thing. And I also got rid of all of these. Layout box, everything like that. So you delete all those. As you see, I just commented those out because I wasn't sure if I needed them. Then you go to, so once you have all that deleted, you go to the these sections, and I just did all of these. I did, I just copy this directly, boom. Come over here and do it here, boom. If you're gonna have text and the bar, you need to re redo TXT at the end of this. So you'll notice, you know, you'd have mem widget and then mem widget up here too, so you have to put TXT here and TXT here. Same thing for the bar. And then just copy and paste all these right on top of each other. And I did the MPD as well because that's where I have this uh, NCMP working. And it's pretty simple at that point. Uh, I would do maybe one of those. I just would paste in just this one because this vicious register won't work either because, like we said before, you don't have this vicious equals require or because you didn't do this, get this vicious in here. I'd do both again. I don't think it'll hurt anything to do both. Certainly you need it on the first one, but I think that you need more than just this, it seemed to me. Anyways. All right, so once you have that, uh, you can call them down here. CPU widget, CPU widget text, and then I'm going to do that so we can see it. Um, that's this here, and then the bar, and then the text, but I put these text boxes, so I define text boxes. I have the one is just CPU, which is this, and then I have memory, which is this one, and I have just an extra space here so they're not right on top of each other. And then I have two space sizes. I have a big one and a small one, so I have a small one between the graph and the, the uh, text widget, because if you can't define text in a widget, It'd be right up next to it, like literally uh, touching it. So then I, so I had a small, small group here for text box four, and then between the two, I have a larger text space, which is text box three. Did the same kind of layout there. Then I piled a couple of the big spaces on, and then did the NC and P. So you come down here and you see that we have the one for CPU, the widget itself, the small space, the text widget, the big space, text box two, which is memory, then the memory widget, and then a, the small space for between that and text, and then a couple big spaces, and then text box five is the NCMP, and then the widget itself. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to work on trying to get the. Well, let's take go up and take a look at the uh, widgets here. It might be some type of uh, detection issue, although it should work. I'm going to compare it to my desktop. So we have 13, so that means your memory text, or your memory here. I'm going to change this. Let's see what happens. Even if I go to just leave it blank, then I think it defaults to uh, every two seconds. Let's just actually, let's, let's do that again, change it to five or four, just to see what happens. And that is the memory text. So this should update more often now. That's every four seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, unless it's the same. Anyways. And then you have the uh, memory widget here, which is on the same deal. I don't know. I don't want to put it too much because it'll drain the battery. So I'm just going to take it back to 13. <clears throat> a couple of the things you're going to want to do, they, they come when you first do it. It's very, very small. So I just comment out the height, and it'll fill it the same as the CPU is, fill the bar. 
and I changed the width to 100 because when it first comes out it's like super super small on both of these so I changed it to 100 on both so there's how you do that um, so you know you do maybe put a percent in here instead of a value and the same as for the CPU widget Text percent percent percent. Save it. Reload. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna keep working on trying to figure out why it's not updating the graph like my CPU is. Only for the CPU, for my desktop. Sorry. But yeah, there you go. So uh, uh, one more thing, I'm gonna do the uh, update on the uh, on this one. Maybe do update. Does it give you an update time? Um, Ten seconds. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, you know, maybe if you figure out uh, how to get the why I may be missing the uh, CPU stuff, that would be cool. I appreciate that. Anybody has any insights? But as of as of now, that's pretty much how to do it. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. Take care.